Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I really hope you're doing well. Hope you and your family are doing well. Time again for another knife of the day. The one right here is the knife of the day, but I wanted to also show the original. It is the Spotico Rock Lobster. This is the exclusive knife from Blade HQ with Crucible M4 steel and that natural G10 that they did. Yes, it sold out quickly. The Rock Lobster. Now, you know, I have a group of you that no matter what I show you, you go, ugly, ugly. Yes, this is ugly. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about the shape. Let's talk about the Rock Lobster. First of all, before we get into a lot of this Rock Lobster, I want to talk about the original a little bit. It was so hard. When I started collecting knives, I chose Spydeco because they had so many different styles. They really did. And so, you know, you could really get lost into collecting. And I did. Um, I started about five years ago. And what I wanted to do was collect every, at least one example. That's how I started. <laughs> one example of every Spydeco knife. And uh, so I had to go back and get the older ones, right? And of course, first you had to find them. Then... You had to overpay for them. <laughs> I did that with the original Rock Lobster, but I was so happy that I got it. I never imagined that I would actually own two of them. <laughs> it's just a unique knife. It really is. And so the collector in me was thrilled to have a Rock Lobster, and the collector of me is thrilled that Blade HQ decided to do another one. So, ugly or not, it holds a lot of history for me. Um, it was one that took me two years to find and to buy and to add it to my collection. It's why you're a collector. It's the hunt, the finding of it, the owning of it, even if it's not permanently. So, Spydeco uh, worked with Blade HQ. Instead of doing another Para 3 or paramilitary two or one of those knives they decided to do the rock lobster now this is one of those that usually spydeco would do a sprint run of right but nowadays with producer exclusives they can go and get them paid for by an exclusive by a distributor like blade hq and they did i love it now i really like the blade hq series of knives with m4 steel M4 steel is a steel from Crucible where um, it is not a stainless steel. You have to take care of it. It's a very strong steel, um, great edge retention, a real nice steel. And so they've chosen to hang their hat on M4 steel for their exclusives. Now this knife feels good in the hand um, to me. And that's the thing about some of these ugly Spydecos. They're ugly until you put them in your hand and then you go, whoa, that feels nice. <laughs> you know, the fat part just fits right in there into the palm of your hand. It doesn't have a forward choil, but as you can see, it does have room for you to grip up a little on it. It doesn't have jimping. Spydeco calls this a sheep's foot blade. It has that little bit of a belly. I always say Spydeco calls it that because everyone always wants to complain, especially when you get to sheep's foot and other things course comes right out of the box sharp and beautiful i really am happy to own this i like it because it's a bit of my
past, you know? You kind of, these kind of knives, I remember the hunt to finally get the rock lobster. And so to see it in the new version, if you ask me, I'll always take the older version over the new because of the sweat and tears. But wow, I'm happy that they went this way with one of the older, more obscure knives to redo. Three point full flat ground blade. The original was in VG10. This of course, super upgrade with M4 steel. Full flat ground blade, 3.7 inches. Now remember when I say how long the blade is, 3.7 inches, they measure from the tip of the handle to the tip of the blade. And that's why I usually give you that second number, 3.5 inches. That's the length of the sharpie part, the sharp part, the edge. The entire length is 8.5 inches and it weighs 4.1 ounces, the exact same as it did with these G10. I believe this is a sprint run as well. Hard to find on the secondary market. And of course the new one will be hard to find on the secondary market as well. You know, it's funny. Picked it up, I opened it, I closed it. And uh, again, just reminiscing on trying to find one of these that I had heard about. But, you know, there aren't a lot of liner locks these days. <laughs> you know, I bet you there's more forward flippers, which I'm not a big fan of, than there are liner locks. But this has a liner lock. Also has the embedded stainless steel liners as well. You can see through this natural G10 with that green color, which I love. Open construction, easy to clean. You know, the regular clip, <laughs> heavy duty clip, just like the olden days, the clip that goes around the lanyard hole. Two way clip. So it's only a right handed knife, tip up or tip down. You see that? A super nice knife. So happy to have it. I like this knife too because one thing that it reminds me of, not in shape, not in blade form, not anything else but the shaman. And you know why? Because it's about the same size as the shaman. It is deceivingly large. It is not large at all. <laughs> and it's thin. It is not large at all. The shaman you would think is large. I posted a Instagram picture about a month ago of my biggest knives and the shaman was on the edge. Like one of the smallest knives. And everyone kept going, look at the little shaman. <laughs> and I wanted to bring out, I guess I'm kind of flexing some of my Blade HQ knives, right? But I wanted to bring out the uh, Paramilitary 2, which we're all familiar with. Again, same size as the Shaman. <laughs> you see that? Same size, even a little bit bigger. Same size as well as the Rock Lobster. Sure, it's ugly. Sure, all of you don't have the emotional attachment that I do to the Rock Lobster. But it's such a hard knife to get. It was such a great get for me. <sighs> Especially when I was just starting to collect and I was starting to get the hard to find knives. 
I even packed this away with the hard to find knives um, from Spyderco. But now it's brand new. It's the exclusive from Blade HQ. Yeah, it sold out pretty quickly. It's the Rock Lobster, Spyderco Rock Lobster. Limited edition, of course, distributor exclusive with CPM M4 steel, natural G10, which has that green see-through color. Oh, I love this knife. 3.7 inches, 4.1 ounces. It is easy to carry. It really is. Takes up a little bit of the, because of that butt part. But it surprises you how thin and light it is. But there you have it. The knife of the day. One of my favorites. Finally got company for the original. The Spyderco Rock Lobster with CPM M4 Steel Natural G10. All sold out from Blade HQ. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on notifications. Man, I miss you guys a lot. Stay with me because... In the next two months or so, I'm going to be trimming my collection like crazy. I'm actually counting, bad decision by the way, counting the knives in my collection on my Instagram. The Instagram is Keith Kevin Ken. Um, I'm at 717 with a lot of knives to go. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so if you want to check that out, of course, there are so many videos on this channel and most of the knives that I count down on Instagram actually have videos on this channel. So help yourself. I appreciate all of you. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.